Should we play a proper general this time? I'm quite tired of picking the bad one as an experiment and then losing. This is a good start. Let's pick the hard removal spell that deals with anything. Um, such as gigantic colossi. Here is a relatively premium 2-drop over a bad one and a powerful but extremely unlikely to work card. Ooh, I split Dryad and Vet. Oh, this pack's so good. This is great. These are all powerful cards. So this is this is relatively situational, so I don't think I want to pick it over these two stronger ones. Dryad does need a Vesper, but when you do have that Vesper, it hits like a truck. And it's 3-3 three, three for 3 with Tribal on itself is like not terrible. For Spirit Call is the go-to here in my IMO. Yeah, I, th I think so. So I was, I was going to say, for Spirit Call is like... There's so few bad hits off of their Spirit Call. Um, there's like Boreal Bear is maybe the only bad one. And even then it's a 2-4 for 2, which is not the worst. Yeah, you can get so much value off of this. Moose, Cryonic Potential, and Frostfire. Um... How good is Cryonic Potential? I, th I think Frostfire is pretty reasonable, and we already have a Vesper. Um, but this card can be a pretty significant threat. I think that the Moose is bad. I I've I've come down on the the side of no to the Moose, unfortunately. Um, I'm tempted to try this. I've not actually played with it before. Cryonic Potential, I love that card. Alright, let's give it a shot then. Replicant? Probably not. Sandborough? No. Prongbok? Yeah, this is pretty reasonable. It's uh, not the best card in the world, but it's got decent stats and it contests mana tiles very well, that sort of thing. There's our Borean Bear. There's a Yon and a Bone Chill Barrier. Okay, so none of these cards are good. Is Yon worth picking? Turn 1 Yon is like not terrible, but not amazing. Um. Bone Chill Barrier kind of needs Glacier Elemental, which pretty much just leaves us with the bear. We have a Vesper already, but I think mostly whichever of these I pick is going to be replaced fodder. Maybe I should pick Bone Chill Barrier and just hope to spike the Glacier Elemental. Nah, let's 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 take this. This card is like at least it's a two drop, you know. Okay, well there's a Frostfire or another bear. I'd rather I think I'd rather have the Frostfire because this card is good with ranged units and stuff. This draft is looking a little worryingly tribal. This ghoulie can help. So we've got we've got two Vesper payoff cards already. And this can make more. Freeblade is really good though. Like, Freeblade is good enough that I probably want to pick it instead. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Moose bad. Yeah, I, I've been really unimpressed with the moose. Ooh, this is hard. Uh, we have one answer to arrange it so far, and this. Probably want the other answer over the Sojourner. Sad as I am to say that. Sojourner is pretty stupid with Chrono Potential, though. Now, let's pick this. Um, ooh. Bit of healing, bit of ping. We have no ping yet, so I'll pick this. Yeah, the Moose has, like, consistently unimpressed me. Oh, man, so many hard decisions. So we've got Golems to go with our Metallurgist and give us some curve. Or a powerful Vesper. And at this point, I think the 2-drop the Vesper is the way to go. Because this card is so good with Frostfire. This curve is really low. We need some bombs and card draw and stuff. Draw a random artifact. That's unlikely to work out. This is a Vesper. Uh, it's not a very good one, but it is a Vesper. Or oh, there's this thing, which is usually pretty good. Let's give Shivers a try. This card's reasonable. Hailstorm Prison, Blinding Snowstorm, or Flash Freeze. I guess Snowstorm is at least AoE. And can help with manipulating the board. I don't think this is the kind of... Like, we could go all in on aggro with Hailstorm. That could be good. I don't know. Neither of these impresses me very much. Stagnus Blue Conjurer. That's what we need. I don't know. Maybe the Prison is the way to go. 
yeah, it's probably better than the snowstorm is. Four mana for some pings is so bad. More vespers. And this one spams walls, which isn't terrible. Expensive cards? Black. Oh, Draugr Aelith. Yes. Oh, that's a good one. Much as it pains me to pass the Black Locust, it is nowhere near as good as this card. This card is real good. Real good. Razor Crag, Golem, Yun, Frostfire. Oh, so many bad cards. Jeez. I guess I'll go all in on Vespers then. Am I taking second? Uh, taking a Crystal Cloak or a Chromatic Cold at this point? We do have several good answers to range units, so I actually think I am. Here we go. Uh, we have no ping. Is playing Fate. Well, we have no flexible ping, right? Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> this draft is going so far south. Um, Shivers is a little flyer. It's pretty good with the frost flies, though. Yeah, Black Locust sucks. Don't worry. Um, I do not want to pick Serpenti. <laughs> you know that I don't. Um, yeah, I guess we're just we're just playing Vesper Tribal now. Mesmerize, Echo, Deliverant, Aspect of Ego. None of these are good. Um, goodness me. Transform any minion. You know what? It's bad removal. It's still removal. Maybe I should just pick that. Right. Creatures that cost more than... Nope. Apparently not. Let's pick the only one of those cards that isn't completely embarrassing. Oh, a Circulus. That's good. Card draw? Expensive things? No. How many... Okay. Do we have enough Vespers to play this piece of crap? <laughs> we have Vesperate Core. One Borean Bear. Two Cloakers. A Shivers. That's five. And Myriad is six. No. This is also bad. So I guess we're just picking Aspect of the Ravager again. Oh, okay, Fire Spitter. That's a 4-drop, and it's a ranged unit. That's good. Sure. Sure. I have something that costs more mana. This makes 3 Vespers. And is a body, or bodies. This can kill people, I guess? <laughs> I expect Vico could be fun if I get Malicious Wisp. This is true, but unlikely. I'm not sure where in England you live, but in London it was outrageously hot. How was your weather? Oh, it's brutal. It's hideous. Uh, it was 36 degrees on my drive home. I'm in Oxford, so... Uh, yeah, Carl said it was 36. Okay, I'm going to pick this huge thing. We need this. Winter Tide is my absolute second favorite card behind Scorn. It's much better with Kara, but it is a pretty sweet card. Have a good one. Love you. Alrighty. Wild KT appears. Yeah, we'll pick this card that costs 7. There's a big hole in the curve, but it's something. Oh, hell yeah, Fizzling Mystic. Yeah. Yeah. More fours? AoE and face damage, we'll take it. Alright, 5 drop. Blue Conjurer, Blue Conjurer. Dang it. Fine. Wow, this is the lowest curve Gauntlet deck I've ever had. Sometimes, you know, I've, I've sometimes commented about... So I see people playing these decks that have, like, just a million low drops and, like, no late game. This is what I've ended up with through, like, basically no fault of my own. I'm like, I didn't plan for this. We don't even have that many minions. We have four pump spells and only 20 minions. Oh, I guess 21. This is a minion. 22. Okay, it's not that bad. 22 is okay. And at least, you know, it's Faye. So, like, we just got to hit them in the face a bit. And Warbird will hopefully do the rest. Fingers crossed.